impact. Impact. Everything we want to do, we want to do from behind the rifle. We have our head up, we're looking around, we're square, we can load the magazine, we can keep an eye on things. Impact. Recoil management. A lot has been on the site about recoil management. Uh, the way it's been phrased is uh, driving the rifle. The complete phrase is driving the rifle through recoil as well as there's loading the bipod. Uh, so we're going to talk about recoil management and how it pertains to driving the rifle and loading the bipod. I've seen it written where people say you want your bipod as low as you can get it. Yes, but they're wording it to where it sounds like you need to put your bipod at the lowest setting. That's not how it works. You need to put your bipod at the lowest point for you. Shoulders. It's very important with shoulders to make sure that your shoulders are square and level. Don't lower the bipod so much that it throws your shoulders off. Don't bring that shoulder forward and bring that elbow forward pointing at the target. That's something we don't want to do. We don't want to use our shoulder to push forward into the rifle. The rifle should be in line with the spine. This comes back into the shoulder pocket. The support hand keeps it there along with the rear bag. So recoil management. It's all about getting the shot off, seeing the results of your impact, and making any correction you need. Impact. Impact. Fell over. Using the reticle to measure and adjust based off of what we just did. It's very fast, it's very effective, and it's something that you don't need a spotter to tell you, hey, you need to come uh, half mil to the left. You can see it, you've read it in the reticle using it as a ruler. Doesn't matter if it's mils or MOA, it's still a ruler. Then you can make the correction, fire another shot within that three to five second window. That's the goal. That's why we want to uh, make sure we look at our recoil management.